All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to distinguish your high yield on King Anki cards. So you're not doing like the entire deck, but you're only doing the high yield and maybe the relatively high yield for step one. For me, I have step one in about 73 days. So I don't want to just do all these cards. I want to only do the high yield cards. And so I'm going to show you from the beginning. So you go to browse. Most of us know how to do this, right? And you go to on King step one, you see that? And then when you go down to other, you're gonna see this high yield tab, right? So when I click on this high yield tab, you're gonna see that there's, um, you're gonna see that there is 8,807, I'm sorry, cards that are considered high yield in the on King deck, okay? So how do you distinguish these from all the other cards? I'm glad you asked. And also, I want you to quickly notice how these are yellow. These are suspended cards that are yellow. Notice that they're yellow, but they also have a parentheses around when they are due compared to these unsuspended cards that do not have parentheses. That is going to be the way you're going to be able to distinguish the difference between suspended and unsuspended cards once you change the color of the tags. And so, like I said, these are all high yield cards on a Mac. You want to do command F or command A. I'm sorry. Right click, go to flag, and you're going to click pick a color that you want to distinguish these. I'm going to go with red for like urgent, you know. <laughs> so all these cards are now red. So all the cards that are high yield when all these decks, they're going to be red. I'm going to just take this time to do the relatively high yield cards as well. So I'm going to do command A, right click. I'm going to change these to green. So now there's 6,872 cards that are relatively high yield that are going to be green. Okay. Now let me just go to, I'm in Heme Onk right now. Okay. So let me just go to white blood cells. This is the white blood cell chapter. So in this chapter, I can see which ones are high yield and which ones are relatively high yield. The rest are irrelevant to me once I'm studying for step. And so anyways, that's a quick way. And like, look, you see how these ones are have parentheses. These ones are suspended. This one's suspended. All of these are unsuspended. So that's how you can tell the difference. So. Yeah, use this strategy to be able to kind of weave out all the extra cards and only do the high yield cards. If you're someone that's looking to apply to medical school or you're currently in medical school right now, I would like to invite you to join our community, the MD Study Break. This is a platform where we all are just trying to help each other out, give each other advice. I post um, different things like how I'm making money in school, but also like tips to help you to get into medical school. And then everything I learn while I go through medical school when it comes to Anki or just using AI. Anyways, I'd uh, love to have you to join. It's totally free. Just click the link and um, we'll get you in there.